Hi everyone, welcome to Planet Conquer. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some clothes that I brought from uh, Burton. Uh, it's about three or four different orders that I've had come in. Uh, so I've not brought them all at the same time, I've basically got them in the January sale. Uh, they've been sat in my wardrobe for a little while actually. Um, so I'll show you what I've got anyway. Uh, so I've got a pack of three different coloured t-shirts. Uh, so let's have a look at those. So, got a white t-shirt, just plain white. Got a plain red t-shirt, so that's just another plain t-shirt. There's like a blue colour t-shirt in there as well. Uh, a pair of gloves. Another pair of gloves. I think these ones are fingerless. So let's just get in. They're plain black ones as well, so no pattern on these ones I'm afraid. So we've got a pair of fingerless gloves, a hat, it's meant to be dark green this but <clears throat> I think it is dark green but it's very, it is very dark green so I don't know if you can actually see but that's another Burton one. Okay, uh, we've got a jumper. Into this. So I've got a it's a blue and black jumper. <coughs> so quite nice, got a really nice pattern to it I think. Okay. Uh got another red jumper. So this one's a little bit thinner, it's more like a long sleeve t-shirt this one, just looking at it. But it's kind of like a burgundy, ready colour jumper. That's alright. Got a... Don't mind holding it up while it's still in its packaging. <laughs> bit of a silly thing to do. <coughs> Another grey jumper, it's got kind of a turtlenecky style one. This, yet yeah, again, it's quite thin. Um, so it's more a long sleeve t-shirt really than it is a jumper, I'd say. And a grey cardigan. It's a bit like, well it's the same as the colour cardigan that I'm already wearing, but it's uh, like a dark charcoal grey. Quite nice. Okay. Uh, and now we'll have a quick look at what they look like on. Okay, this, so this is the uh, white t-shirt. Um, it's not a bad fit. The only thing that um, I would say with just uh, putting it on, um, if you do wear a vest underneath it, you are going to see it. So I'd probably recommend not wearing a vest top underneath this. Uh, even if it's the same colour, because I had a uh, white vest top underneath this as well. But you can still see sort of the patterns. But apart from that, it's uh, not too bad. It's uh, quite a snug fit, if you have a look. It's so the uh, white one. Okay, now we'll move on. Hi guys. So now we've got the red T-shirt. As you can see, yet again, just like the white T-shirt that I just showed you, it's uh, quite a nice fit, to be honest. So I'll give you a quick rotation of that. Uh, pretty comfortable. Um, I like it. So we'll move on to the next one. Okay, just like the uh, red. Uh, t-shirt, this is the uh, blue t-shirt, the third one in the pack of three. Uh, yet again, pretty good fit. Um, let you have a look at the back. 
different sides, and at the front, and yeah, it fits nice and snug. Okay, we'll move on. Okay, so this is the uh, maroon jumper. Um, it, it's an alright fit. I think there's probably a little bit too much uh, material on the arms, though, to be honest, especially on the shoulders. Look, it's a little, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a little bit, what I call, a bit baggy. Um, to be honest, but apart from that, it's quite comfortable. Uh, probably a little, I don't know, just a little bit too much material, so just a little bit too baggy, I'd say. Um, it is a size medium, um, but as you can see, overall, it's still not a bad fit and it is comfortable, to be fair. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now we've got the uh, grey turtleneck jumper. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a good fit, it looks quite smart, I think. Um, not really any uh, issues that I can sort of see at the moment, but I'll let you know uh, when I find out. But it's quite comfortable. Even this turtleneck part here, I mean, it's not a really thick jumper, so you're not you've not got any sort of um, tightening around the uh, neck, so it just fits actually quite snug, and I think it's really comfortable to be honest. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Hey guys, um, so I've paired up the uh, charcoal grey cardigan with the white t-shirt as I think it makes quite a good combination to be honest, so I don't know what you guys think. Um, but as you can see it's pretty comfy, it uh, fits well. Okay, have a look at the back. So it is quite a good fit. One uh, little niggle that I do have with this uh, jumper though, as you raise the arms, if I do it with both arms, it actually pulls this fabric um, actually pulls the fabric from the side as you can probably see um, so I do think that the arm could probably use with a little bit more fabric on it just so that this part here uh, stays against the uh, body can you see it popping out? Um, I, th I think that's the only niggle I've really got apart from that um, it's quite comfortable to be fair um, and it, I think it looks smart so I don't know what you guys think but just let me know in the comments Okay, let's uh, move on to the next one. Okay guys, so this is the uh, blue and black jumper. As you can see, it, I think it looks uh, quite smart to be fair. Uh, so it's got the blue part on the top, the black part on the bottom, it's got all the patterns. It's actually quite comfortable. Uh, sometimes I can get uh, jumpers like this, and they are actually quite itchy because of the material, but this one, not at all. And I was actually quite surprised to be honest. Uh, but no, it is, it's actually quite comfortable, it's quite warm. Uh, so yeah, so this is front view, so side view, that's the rear view, other side view, and then back to the front, um, but yeah, yeah, it's actually quite comfortable, and now we'll move on. Okay guys, so now I'm uh, back with the uh, fingerless gloves that I uh, bought from Burton's, um, as you can see, uh, they look alright. Uh, nothing special about them, they're just basic gloves to be honest, uh, fingerless gloves. Um, they are quite comfortable. Uh, the parts around the tops of the fingers though are probably a little bit tight, so they could probably do with being a little bit looser, or maybe uh, with the thumb, uh, probably drop the thumb down a tad and uh, maybe bring the uh, fingers up only slightly uh, so that it's not around the actual joints on your fingers and it's actually around. Uh, just in between joints from the top of the finger to the middle of the finger and I think they'd be a lot more comfortable then but apart from that they're alright and we'll see how we get on with them hey guys so now we have these gloves um, they're like charcoal grey a light grey and then a uh, dark grey so they are three different types of grey um, as you can see they look alright they are quite comfortable a bit itchy maybe around this sort of area um, and when you're putting them on they are a little tight uh, around the fingers um, so that's probably the only little niggles that I have at the moment for these um, there's a little looks like there's a little thread there as well look so that's probably another little niggle um, apart from that they're, they're alright um, um, I'll see how I get on with these okay so here's the uh, hat that I bought as you can see it looks alright, feels quite comfortable. Um, you can see the 
Burton logo just on the hat. Um, so it does look quite good, quite a good pattern. Um, you can see it as I come round. We'll have a look at the back. So yeah, uh, overall quite comfortable. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we'll get on with this one. Okay, so that's the uh, end of showing all the uh, items that I bought from Burton's on the January sale. Um, it was 70% plus uh, an extra 10% discount um, and I got them all online. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wear all the clothes during the next couple of weeks and then I'm going to come back and um, I'll let you know further what I think of them. So, see you in a couple of weeks. Hi everyone, welcome back to Planet Conquer. Uh, it's been two weeks now and um, I've tested all these clothes and I'm going to tell you what I think of them. Okay, uh, we'll work from the top and we'll go down to the bottom. Okay, so uh, black gloves, fingerless ones, uh, if you remember those, they're okay. The only thing that I am finding is if you look at the edges, you can actually see that they are starting to fray a little bit. Uh, hopefully you can see that quite well. Um, that's one glove, and if you look at the other, you can see there's starting to fray on the string already there. There's a bit of string coming out on the top bit there as well. So, they're, they're okay. Um, I feel as though the fabric's turning back towards um, the actual thing, back towards the hand as well, um, when they're on the gloves. Um, so they're not actually staying where they should be. Um, and that, that's the only thing that I've got with these gloves, really. Um, also, let's put this one on. If you sort of look, there, within the fabric of the corners, you can see that the fabric's not actually stayed together, so it is actually starting to uh, come loose, the fabric, and yet again on the thumb part. So for Burton's gloves, I was a bit disappointed, to be honest, because you would have thought they'd have been a lot better quality than standard gloves. I mean, I could have got a cheap uh, £1 pair from a pound shop, or I could have gone to um, another store like Home Bargains, probably got a pair of gloves for a couple of quid. So for these, um, I think I paid something like £6 for them, um, and yet again, there was in the 70% sale. So 6 quid from Burton's uh, in a 70% sale... Uh, that's not very good, is it? Not for Burton. You'd expect them to be quality, not not to fall apart. Uh, yet again, we have these gloves as well, the patterns gloves. Uh, as you can see, um, on the fingers, starting to string again. Um, so there's actually fabric um, coming off yet again, starting to come undone. If I put this, this one on my hand... Yeah, again, just looking at this glove, you can see that the fabric's not holding itself together uh, within the uh, fingers. Uh, you've got bits coming off on the palm again. You can see there's uh, holes within the glove. And yeah, again, these are Burton gloves, so you would expect these to be a lot better quality. Um, same on the other glove. Uh, if I put this one on as well, you can see... Put this on you can see that the, the fabric's not holding itself together and on the back there and there. And I've only had these two weeks. I've, I've literally only had these two weeks. Um, all I've used these for is uh, going to college. Um, they've been in the zip pocket. They've not been en in near anything sharp at all. Um, so there's no reason why these should be falling apart as quick as they have done. Two weeks, Burton gloves. Wouldn't recommend them, to be honest. Um, right, the hat. So we've got the green Burton hat. Uh, this is actually a really nice hat. I do really like this. Uh, it's very comfortable. Um, it looks good. And it does the job. I've got no faults with this. Um, it's a great hat. I'd highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, moving on. Okay, so the red jumper. Uh, the red jumper is quite good as well. Uh, no real faults with this, to be honest. Um, nothing, nothing that I can really think of. It is a little bit thin for what it is. 
Um, it could be made a little bit thicker, um, but apart from that, it, it's all right. It's a good jumper. Um, yeah, I'd recommend that. Uh, with this jumper, it's good, um, but when you put it on, let's show you. Pop it on. I just feel when it's on, these bits on the sides actually open up a tad too wide, and I would have preferred it if it was if it sort of stayed a little bit thinner like that, rather than it trying to force its way out to the two sides. Um, and I just think it looks better like that. But that's my own personal opinion. You might have a different opinion to me. But apart from that, it's uh, pretty good, pretty comfy. It's um, these underarm bits as well, like I said before, um, because it does it does pull, and I do think there could be a little bit of extra fabric coming from there down to under the arm. So if you are lifting your arm up, say waving to someone, it's not it's not lifting this whole side up. Apart from that, it's all right. Okay. The white jumper. White jumper, no complaints again, really comfy, uh, probably could do have been a little bit thicker, and um, this bit feels really snug on the neck, uh, no complaints on that at all, uh, highly recommend that one. <coughs> the blue and black jumper, uh, very comfortable yet again, highly recommend it. Um, no, nothing I can think of that's negative of it, to be honest. Uh, very warm, if it's cold, uh, something that you want to wear, so no complaints on that. Um, highly recommend that as well. Okay, t-shirts. Um, can't really say anything much about the t-shirts. Uh, they're just, they are basic, so you've got the white one. Let's unfold that. The blue one. And the red one. Um, all three t-shirts, all exactly the same, just different colour. Um, yeah, they're, they're alright for a basic t-shirt. Um, but I do think that the size small is more like a medium uh, when you come to these t-shirts. Because uh, normally when I've brought small before, um, they've sort of fit a bit more snug to my body. Uh, yeah, um, and with these small, they, they don't, they're a little bit more baggy on the baggier side, so they are a bit more like a medium. So if you do, if you do buy t-shirts from Burton um, and you want a nice snug fit rather than go for a medium um, or a small, uh, drop down a size if you want them a nice snug fit. Um, I mean in jumpers I am a medium myself, but I like my t-shirts to be a little bit more snug, snug to me. Um, but yeah, so if, if you do get like these, these are a small, um, I'd probably recommend going for an extra small just so you get that bit of a snug fit. Um, but yeah, uh, apart from that, they're really good. Uh, they are comfortable and I do like them. And that's the end of my review. Thank you very much for watching uh, Planet Conquer and uh, hope to see you on the next video.